Michael. We begin tonight with a renewed push by a local suicide prevention group calling on Caltrans to follow through on a project that would add a suicide barrier to the San Diego Coronado Bridge. Fox Vice Alain Latang spoke with the group's leader and a local psychologist about those efforts. She joins us now with what they have to say. Alani? Good evening, and the leader of this suicide prevention group says he wants to put pressure on Caltrans because he says Caltrans isn't moving fast enough with this project here. Psychologists also agree that these barriers are needed, but say that we can all do our part to help in the prevention that goes beyond this Caltrans project as well. I saw that it was just happening, all these bridge closures, and uh, everybody wanted something done. Retired Coronado firefighter and head of the San Diego Coronado Bridge Suicide Prevention Group, Wayne Strickland, has been vocal for the past eight years to local and state politicians and Caltrans about better suicide protection and prevention measures on the bridge. In February, Caltrans proposed a suicide barrier project. It would entail installing an 8 to 10 foot vertical stainless steel net that rises above the sidewalls. Ten months later, Strickland sent a letter to Caltrans asking them to expedite the process. As CHP reported, a person jumped off the San Diego Coronado Bridge Saturday afternoon. To let them know that we keep on pressing to get it done. We want it done, and we don't want you to. Uh, do the big bureaucracy, take forever to get something done. This is uh, lives that are lost. I think it it's, has to be done. It's a place where people who are really committed to dying go. So it should be uh, protected. Clinical psychologist Dr. Richard Levack says there's a misunderstanding, a discomfort when talking about suicide, adding that during the holidays is a time where we need to be mindful of our loved one's mental health. Research shows and, and, and clinically we know that people who are thinking of it are open to talking about it and you're not going to push them into it by asking them if they're feeling that bad. If people are lonely and not connected to others, if they've been depressed, if they've been talking about suicide, pay attention, reach out to them. Keep on pushing these politicians to get it done because mm -hmm. you'll be lifesavers too then. If you or anyone you know needs mental health help, you can call 988. That's the 24 7 uh, suicide and crisis hotline. You can also call 911 if it's an emergency. We reached out to Caltrans to get an update status on the project here at the bridge, and we have not heard back from them yet, but we will keep you updated as soon as we do. Reporting live at Coronado, I'm Melania Latang, Fox 5 News.